Now to our countdown to the Oscars tomorrow night here on ABC7. The finishing touches are being put on before the celebs walk the red carpet. And ABC7 News anchor Kamasi Aaron joins us live from the Dolby Theater with more. Hello, Kamasi. Hi, Amanda. You see how quiet it is behind me? I like to think that this is the calm before the storm because we all know in just a few hours this red carpet is going to be packed and there's just going to be so many stars here and nominees and everybody I spoke with is really excited to see them. So we went walking around around the Dolby Theater not too long ago and we were able to talk with fans who were here trying to get a glimpse of everything that's going on here, trying to see the red carpet here at the Dolby Theater. Now, last year, there was nothing to see here because the Oscars were held at Union Station. But this year, plenty of people here on Hollywood Boulevard, plenty of cars, lots of traffic too. And people we spoke with said that they're just happy to see things getting back to normal. I'm excited that it's back, you know, with COVID and everything, like everything has been so shut up for so long. It really like is a sign of hope to know that something like the Oscars is happening and um, just uh, being someone who like really geeks out over celebrities and the Oscars in particular, being able to be in the exact same spot where it's happening this year is just so exciting to me. Exactly. How cool is it to see the Oscars here getting ready? You know, I honestly want to say like it's super amazing and I think my friends and everybody would agree. Um, I'm super excited to see Beyonce, you know, I've been a fan of her since I was a little gay boy, no? but you know, I'm just excited for the Oscars to be out here in Hollywood, the heart of it, and I think it's going to be great. It's exciting to see them back, you know, in person and, um, and even seeing traffic. Usually there wasn't this traffic last year, so it's kind of, you know, it gives a little bit of sense of normalcy back in L.A. I'm hopefully going to be watching, like, as much as I can. I don't know what the logistics are on if I can stand outside, but me and my roommate are definitely planning on either watching from a building or going outside if we can, whatever is, like, legal. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to catch a peek of what's going on or the celebs walking up and down the red carpet. Well, she's not the only one who's hoping to see stars throughout the day today. We saw people all around just peeking in, hoping that someone would show up. We know tomorrow we're expecting the stars to start arriving around 2.30 or 3 o'clock. And, of course, you know the Oscars starts here at 5 o'clock on ABC7. Reporting live in Los Angeles, Kamasi Aaron, ABC7 News. Well, Kamasi, you are our resident celebrity. You're going to be on the red carpet <laughs> tomorrow as well. Tell, tell us, what's the plan? What dress are you going to wear? Describe it all for us. Okay, Amanda, this is going to be a packed day, but I think I'm ready for it. I'm waking up early. I'm going to get my makeup done because I want to be flawless if I can be. I have picked out a dress. I want to thank everybody who gave me feedback. I think I picked the right one, so I'm excited to show you all that. And I have a place here on the red carpet. My place is a little bit further down. I'm excited about that because it's like right where the celebrities turn to go into the Dolby Theater. So I'm hoping they hit the corner and they say, hey, girl in the awesome some dress. I want to talk to you. So I'm just going to be in place there before the uh, ceremony starts and I'm hoping I get some great interviews and I'll be live at 11 to let you know what I get. Fantastic. Well, we'll be looking forward to it. We'll be looking forward to that dress as well. We've been following you on social media. Any one that you chose, one of it will be perfect. So we know that. Thank you so Thank much, you. Kumasi. Have a fabulous <laughs> night. Now.